going to teach you something extremely valuable in regards to securing the content that you put on your WordPress site. And I kind of had a heavy heart in deciding on how I was going to do this video because I was going to use a live example of a website. It's a great website. It has a, a course, several courses on it that cost a couple hundred dollars each. Uh, it, the, the owner of the website is using WP Courseware and um, uh, and it's really easy to access the paid content on his website and he doesn't know it. I'm actually gonna go ahead and contact him uh, after I make this video. I was gonna show you me getting into all his website content that is paid content, but how to get into it for free. Uh, but I, I was gonna do it live in this video, but I kind of felt bad. Plus, I don't wanna open myself up to any legal issues for hacking, but this isn't hacking. I'm not hacking anything. It's a a uh, search function vulnerability in everybody's WordPress installation. So for instance, if you create a page in WordPress and you don't put it in the menu, it's like a secret page, like maybe a thank you for purchasing, click here to download what you just bought page. You, you don't create a link anywhere on your website. You remove it from the search engines, uh, maybe using Yoast. Um, you do all these things thinking it's safe, but there's an easy back door in every WordPress installation and it's called the WordPress search. And I'm going to show you that right now, but more importantly, I'm going to show you how to fix it. Um, so anyways, let's take a look. So here's the scenario. Uh, I'm in WordPress. I'm going to click on posts and I, I'm not posts. I'm going to do page. Sorry. I'm going to click add new and I'm going to name this um, uh, secret, secret download page. Okay. And I'm going to publish this secret download page. Okay, and so you can see here's the full link to it, secret download page. Now, I'm not putting a link in the menu. I'm not putting access to this anywhere. It's just a page on WordPress, but no one knows it exists or that's what you think. Now, check this out. Now, I'm going to go to my this WordPress installation and you can see I don't have any links. I don't actually have any links to anything. It's not in the archives. It's not anywhere. So how you're thinking, how would someone even know that this page exists? And it's very simple. Uh, take a look at the URL string. Um, it's just that URL. I'm on the home page. And all someone has to add at the end of this slash right here is question mark S equals. Watch. Question mark S equals. And let's name it, uh, what was it, secret? I could actually just push put an S. It doesn't matter. I don't have to type secret or anything because it's just your query string and hit enter and there it is, secret download page and someone can click on this and access whatever is there even though there's no link anywhere on the website. There's It's not indexed by Google but you think it's secret. No one knows about it but you just saw how easy it was for me to find it. And this is happening uh, to, this is a, a vulnerability in every WordPress website. And you don't even think twice about it because you don't even know it's there. Luckily, I'm going to show you some ways to fix it. So I'm going to go back into my WordPress installation. Now, we're going to need to uh, add something to your themes function file. And it's a little technical, but don't worry about it. It's not that bad. Now, I've created a prior video about creating a child theme and why you need to do that. So you might want to go and watch that video. And I also created a video on how to easily edit and change files that are on your web server without using FTP. Um, so go ahead and uh, visit the website, my website, and you'll see those videos there, the one on child themes and the one on uh, uh, putting a file manager in WordPress. So I already have that done. Uh, if you can FTP in and get to your the directory that has your child theme or just um, uh, uh, follow the instructions on the video I created about getting uh, installing WordPress file manager. So what we need to do is add or edit if you've already added the function.php file. So 
Open up a WordPress file manager, click on WP content, click on themes, and then click on your active theme. Now I'm using a child theme, which I highly suggest. And uh, I've got this functions.php file here. Now your child theme might not have it, uh, but it's real easy. All you have to do is create the file and name it functions.php. It's really that easy. But we need to put some stuff in there. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on this button here to edit it. Now this is, um, if you don't have any functions in it, this is what it's gonna look like. So I'm gonna copy and paste a function right here. So uh, anyways, I found this useful web page here of 10 useful WordPress search code snippets. Now right here is a snippet to exclude specific pages and posts from the search results. You can do that and then there's this little spot right here. Actually, why don't I do this first because I'm gonna show you both ways. So uh, what we need to do is just copy the code and then I'm gonna go back to the file manager and I'm gonna paste it right here and hit enter. Okay, so here is my uh, custom uh, function that I just copied and pasted. Now what needs to be edited is right here where it says zero or one. Uh, these are your specific page or post IDs that you want removed from the uh, WordPress search. So I'm gonna show you how to find out what that is. So if I go to my pages and then I open up that page I just created, the the, the secret page. Uh, let's see, where is it? Uh, it's on my second page here, secret download page. When you click in to the page, if you look at the URL, there's an ID number. So for on this one, it says post equals 569. So I need to go back here and type 569 like that. And then I'm gonna save and exit. So now I've added this code. I put my specific page ID in. Now let's see what happens. And let's see if it worked. Okay, so, um, here is my query. I just need to probably refresh the page. Ah, see I refreshed the page and now it's eliminated from the search. So I put that same search query in with the question mark S equals and then I put S the first letter of the page name and it removed it. So that's one way. However, this way of removing your pages from the search it's a little on the tedious side, right? If you've got, say, 100 pages, then you gotta go find 100 IDs and then put the IDs in. Um, it's kind of a, a pain. So there's another way here, and let's see. I think there was one to just exclude everything. I mean, really, do you, I personally, if you have a huge blog, you need search. But if you don't have a huge blog, you you really and if you have things organized well, do you do you really need search? Uh, you might not. So um, let's see. I'm going to scroll down here, and there's one to um, block everything from the search results. Let's see. Where is it? Ah, here it is. It says disable WordPress search. If you're looking for a way to disable all of the search functionality, use this code snippet. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste this in, and I'm gonna replace the other code. So here's that functions file again. I'm gonna edit it. And this was the function that I had added. I'm gonna remove and replace it with this. Let's just see if it works. Okay, so I've saved that. And let's see, so I've got my same search query in, question S equals S, I'm gonna do a refresh. Okay, and see, whenever um, someone tries to do that search on your site now, it's gonna go ahead and take them to your 404 page, that's your, your not found page, and that's where you wanna take them, and it'll just show whatever you have configured for your 404 page. So this is the solution that that uh, this guy needs to the one website I was talking about that I'm not gonna show, unfortunately. Uh, this is probably the solution that he would need because he's got probably 100 different pages. So uh, anyways, 
This is a real down and dirty, easy way to secure your WordPress website in, in a way that you didn't even know it was vulnerable in this built-in WordPress search functionality. So uh, anyways, um, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it valuable. This is probably the kind of video that you really should share on your social networks to share with people so that they can um, see what vulnerabilities they're exposed to. And um, go ahead and uh, head over to the WP Crafter and I'll post these code snippets there to so it's real easy for you um, to be able to apply them to your WordPress theme. This was a little more of a technical video. You might have a couple questions about it or run into some snags. Uh, so go ahead and uh, feel free to ask me any kind of question that you might have. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can put the question there. A better place though would be to head over to my website and ask a question there in the comments. And I'll go ahead and help you in any way that I can to keep your web WordPress installation secure. Hey, we'd appreciate it if you took a moment to click on the thumbs up button and to share this video with your friends. Also, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and take a moment to go over to our website, leave us a comment, ask us a question, but sign up for our newsletter. Don't have enough time for all this WordPress stuff? Then have the experts install and configure WordPress for you. We'll install, configure, and optimize WordPress for free. All you have to do is sign up for a new hosting account from one of our recommended providers. For more information, visit wpcrafter.com slash free install. Thanks again for watching this video and make sure you connect with us on these social networks.